So I started looking at options for electricity when I'm camping, because most of the time when I'm camping, there's no water and low electricity. And I've been using the little power banks uh, to charge up all my stuff, but I wanted something better. So I started looking at the Jackeries and uh, solar generators, and stuff like that. And the Jackeries were so expensive. So I started checking and investigating and I decided to just build my own. So stay tuned and in this video I will show you how I made my own solar generator at one third of the cost of a Jackery. This is going to be good. So I decided to build my own solar generator. Um, it's not really a solar generator, it's more just a battery until you hook up the solar panels to it. So I bought some 160 watt solar panels that fold up that I can fit inside my trailer and I proceeded to build a battery box that has USB ports, uh, the cigarette lighter port, and then I have a 500 watt inverter and I actually plugged it into my TV. Um, I have a 4K 50 inch TV and I plugged that battery box into my TV and I ran my TV for six hours and I still had plenty of battery power left. So I know this is gonna work for my needs while camping. And if it starts to drain, just whip out the solar panels and charge it back up. I also have the option to charge it up with a 110 outlet if I'm somewhere where I can plug it into a 110 outlet. But yeah, I think this is going to work out very well for me. Um, I will be testing it out on my trip to Colorado. In fact, when you see this video, I will already be in Colorado and you will see some footage of me using this in real life.
Home Depot again. I've done to this I put a brace right there to hold it and I cut this hole in there cut a slot it's gonna fit like that the box is gonna sit on here and then I'm gonna have a strap that goes around the box through there to hold the box on and that little thing right there I'm gonna mount that up here for the for the slot for the strap to go through to go through there up around here and then I'm also hoping to run some uh, cable through there locking cables so I can lock the boxes on so they're not easily stolen but right now I'm just grinding down this to get it as dull as possible so it doesn't cut the straps when I put them through there I may actually, I'm gonna put some stuff along the edge here, some tubing. I may put some tubing on there also. In fact, I think I will. That'll help protect the uh, strap from getting cut. But I need to file that a little bit more. Got my handy bastard file here. People always think I'm cussing when I say that, but. If you look at it, you probably can't read it, but it's a bastard file. We used to use all this all the time when I was framing houses to sharpen saw blades back before they came out with carbide tip saw blades. That's how old I am. All right, so I got some more filing to do. I'm going to put a screw with washer through it right there. Another one there, another one there. And then I'm going to weld this edge right up here. And I may put a little weld on that too, in the bottom. there 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 ran lots of silicone inside the holes and I mounted this thing right here for the strap to go through then the strap will go through there up around through there up around all the way around
I got the solar panel set out. I don't have them hooked up yet. Uh, I know what you're saying. Why didn't you put it in the sun? Um, yesterday I scoped out this area and this area right here had sun for the most part of the day. Right now there's only two panels in the sun. Two panels aren't in the sun. So I'm gonna wait till all four panels are in the sun before I hook it all up because I wanna, I wanna read the voltage, see how it's charging. And I also have two different cords. I have the cord that came with it, but I also built a longer cord. And I wanna test that longer cord and see if the voltage drops by using that longer cord. I know the shorter cord you got, the better it's gonna do. But I added the little stake holes, little stake uh, grommets, one right there, one right there. See, it didn't come with any way to stake it down. I was afraid it was gonna blow away. And then I built, if you can see it, I built the out of PVC little stand there and I was able to stake down where the handles are. So I don't want this thing like blowing across the forest if we get strong winds, which sometimes we do here. Okay, I built a port on the front to plug it in. It came with uh, those alligator clips to clip right on the battery. And I wanted to have something I could plug into the front without taking the lid off. They say uh, plug the battery in first, never plug the solar panels in first, or you will mess it up. Battery slot is right there. You get to see me plugging it in because I needed two hands. Okay, so right now it's showing my battery level at 13.2 volts. Okay, this part right here is for the solar panels. And once again, I can't plug it in with one hand. So I'm gonna plug it in. And now this thing lit up. So it is receiving solar. Now let's look at the, we get 3.5 amps, 3.6 amps. That's pretty good. We are receiving 3.6 amps. Now what I'm gonna do I'm using a cord that is about 10 feet long, actually it's 10 feet long, and I have a 30 foot long cord that I put together and made with the ends that will fit into this, and I know the shorter the cord, the better results you're going to get. So let's unplug that one, plug the other one, and see if it is getting, let me check, see what it's, 3.5 amps. All right, so the panels are all the way in the sun now shines up there okay now we have a 30 foot cord that I'm gonna plug into it all right 30 foot cords plugged in the little panel indicator just came on that means it is working check out the amps 3.5 amps exactly the same as the 10 foot that is awesome to know that means I can get 30 feet away and I can leave that I can leave my battery hooked up to my trailer if I want. Don't even have to take it off. And just extend it out 30 feet into some sunshine. And there we go. Yeah, so 3.6 amps, 3.6 amps, even more now. Okay, so here we are set up in a real life situation. Panels are in the full sunshine. It's uh, charging at 3.6 amps. Um, it's not even full sunshine yet. I mean, it's full sunshine, but the sun is not straight over yet. We have the battery plugged into the solar controller. Then we have the solar panels plugged into the solar controller. And it is charging. Okay, so I used that battery a little bit. Um, I charged uh, a battery bank. I charged up all my GoPro batteries. See, there's three, six, six GoPro batteries with it. And I've been plugging my phone into it every night. This is the second night. 
So it didn't use a lot of it, but it used a little bit. But that battery is a really good battery. In fact, I, I mentioned earlier, I plugged my TV into it. My 4K 50 inch TV ran for six hours. Hardly made a dent in it. But I am gonna be very happy with this setup. So one other thing that's worth mentioning, you know, we, we got the solar coming in, battery going out. You don't even have to have a battery if you're gonna charge something via USB. So you don't even have to have that plugged in. Apologize for my fingernails being dirty, but I've been out camping. But yeah, there's a USB port right there and right there. So if you have no battery, all you have to do is plug in the solar and then you can plug your phone in there or, or charge up a battery bank, whatever you have that charges via USB. I think that's a pretty cool little thing. Okay, so that's how far away I can get the, put the battery. Battery's over there. Solar panels are there. So if I leave it on my motorcycle trailer, I could just pull up somewhere in the shade, stretch it out 30 feet, put the panels in the sun. No problem. But yeah, that's it for my solar video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun building it. I had fun building the, the battery box and, and doing all the wiring and the soldering. I had fun building the boxes on the side of my trailer that I could haul them around on. And now I'm glad that in the real world situation here while camping, it works. As always, don't forget to buy merch. Link is down in the description. There will also be links down in the description to everything I used in this video. So have a good one. Make sure to like and subscribe.